At Montgomery Elementary in room 203, something unique is unfolding with proven results. Our data shows that it works. Heather Gallion keeps a close eye on the clock and for the first 10 minutes of math class, she shows and tells. Biggest piece starts off with the I do, where the teacher models, you use a lot of I statements. In my head, I'm thinking this. Here's how I would solve this problem. And the students aren't called on. It helps us because, like, first she shows us. Please flip your papers over. And then we do it. So after the I do, we go on to the we do, where the entire class participates. We talk to each other. We discuss what's going to happen next, what's the whole thing about. So the teacher can know what we're thinking in our heads. And hands-on learning also helps the students. If you bring in more manipulatives, so more hands-on activities, it increases the amount of times that the students will be able to pay attention. So class starts with I do, followed by we do, and then you do together. Where it's just the students working in partners or working as teams to complete the same concept. And each of the three segments is 10 minutes. 10 minutes is very effective for students. They can still retain knowledge, they still have time to practice, but they aren't getting squirmy and bored. The last 30 minutes of the hour, the teacher assesses each student. Checking for any kinds of misconceptions. The teacher uses that data to pull for small group or to decide who needs more intervention on this one standard. They call it the Gradual Release of Responsibility, or GER model. Doug Fisher and Nancy Fry model, it's an instructional model, so the actual math, we just embedded it into our own, we made it our own program. The short-term result? I get like a hundred or 99%. And the long term? We're at 78% proficient school wide when it comes to CST. When you do the math, it's amazing. Amazing because math proficiency scores at the school have increased significantly over the past four years to 78.3%. 31.7% growth. Montgomery uses the GER model in K through sixth grade in math and language arts with a staff who believes in it. You seem excited about it, they'll feed off of your energy and they'll realize, hey, this is cool. What I'm doing isn't something that every other school is doing. This is something that I get to do because I'm here at Montgomery. And if you're excited about it, then they will be too. Everyone, Hi, it's a privilege.